Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk with you about a common type of the stations which comes regularly in the black tool test. This type of the station is a medical error. How to deal with a medical error station? In medical error station, simply you are de you will be dealing with the patient who come to you, and your rule here is to explain to him that there is some error or some mistake happened while. Uh, providing him with um, the medical service in the NHS hospital. This error may be a problem in the medication. Maybe you are you give the patient a wrong medication, or uh, incorrect diagnosis, or maybe uh, a patient who had a sample who make a blood sample and this sample uh, was missed. And uh, here you should explain to the patient that. Uh, we are going to make another sample and tell him also about procedures and steps uh, we are going to do in order to know what might be the reason for this. Uh, very, very important also to involve the patient about the steps taken by NHS uh, system in order to uh, avoid this problem from happening again in the future. So I have developed this skeleton Talking about six important steps, you shouldn't uh, leave the cubicle inside uh, the exam without covering all of them. First of all, while, um, while approaching these stations, you should start by exploring about the medical condition of the patient or uh, possible complications that may happen due to uh, this error. Uh, you should ask the patient about possible symptoms uh, and signs that may happen as a result of this error. For example, the patient who was misdiagnosed with musculoskeletal pain, uh, but the consultants came back and realized that there was a missed myocardial infarction in the ECG. So it's wise to start your station by asking the patient, is there is any, uh, still any chest pain? You still have a chest pain? Uh, is there any complications like um, shortness of breath? You feel that you are dizzy? Uh, or any further complication is happening for you, uh, explore what might be happening as a complication of this problem. So you should ask the patient about all symptoms and complications of heart attack. Then after exploring about the medical condition, uh, start by explaining the error to the patient. And this is um, the most sensitive part of the station because uh, you will be surprised at the beginning of the station that the patient is very interested to know about his health. Uh, maybe he is informing you that um, uh, he was still suffering from some problems. Uh, he's keen to know about next step in the management and so on. So the patient can be surprised when you tell him that uh, unfortunately we had an error happen and this error which is, uh, it, it's, it's our mistake in the hospital, which may be the reason for the problem that you are having. So this is a very critical, a very uh, critical step in this, in, in, in this station. Uh, although it might be not easy to do this, but you should be very honest with the patient. You should tell him exactly about the error, what happened exactly. And then after the error, you may face that the patient will be angry, he may be very nervous, and here come the rule of apologizing. It's very important to apologize to the patient, inform him that we are really sorry about this error, we are really sorry about what happened for you, and uh, don't waste a lot of time in just apologizing to the patient, just make it as quick as possible, but also don't rush and don't leave the patient angry. But uh, it's very important in these stations that uh, to realize that the patient will not going to calm down without knowing what are you going to do in the NHS system in order to avoid this problem from happening again to another patient. You should also show the patient that you are caring about his health and caring about his safety. And it's wise to talk about how you are going to manage his case medically. So after apologizing to the patient, uh, you're going to tell him the steps done by NHS system in this condition. Uh, in this condition, we are filling an incident form. This form is 
uh, documentation about the problem happened to the patient and this form will be uh, kept inside the file of the patient sure you will inform the senior and tell him that a consultant will come to talk with you about this condition by informing the patient this the patient will start to realize that there are really serious steps taken by the hospital uh, towards uh, dealing uh, with this problem and avoiding this from happening again. Don't forget to tell the patient about the pulse service. You see, you, uh, the pulse service is an, um, a service found in all of the NHS hospitals and this service is uh, uh, responsible to receive any official complaint from the patient about it any medical error happening or any comments or any complaint about uh, the medical service inside the NHS. Very, very important. Don't miss to talk about the medical management. This medical management may be giving the patient uh, a, a specific medication or doing uh, a specific procedure. Give him some advice about how to um, uh, treat your condition. Uh, or uh, tell him about the safety netting and how to deal if there is any complication happening due to this error. So uh, don't forget to cover all of these steps while you are dealing with any station with medical error. So I'm going to tell you how we are going to apply this skeleton on two different types of medical error stations. The first station is a missed foreign body. In this station, the scenario in this station that you are going to talk with the mother. Uh, the mother came previously at the hospital and brought her daughter um, complaining that the daughter may maybe swallowed some object and you did an x-ray or your colleague did an x-ray and um, unfortunately a foreign body was missed in the x-ray and uh, the baby was discharged as medically free. And after that, when the radiology consul consultant came and uh, revised the report and revised the X-ray, he found that uh, there is a missed foreign body. So your rule here is to uh, have a phone call with the mother and uh, tell her about the medical error and tell her about further steps you are going to do to manage the case. It's very, very important in this station to convince the mother to bring her daughter back again because um, we need to detect if there is any complication happening to uh, uh, her health. And don't forget also to tell her about steps and policies uh, that will be done in order to avoid any medical error like this from happening again. So first of all, starting um, our approach to the medical error, explore the incidents. Just ask the mother a quick recap about what happened again. Uh, just inform her, um, tell me about your daughter, how is she now, uh, what happened in the morning, explore about the incident, just a quick recap about what happened. Then quickly ask about any symptoms of any, co of any complications. This, uh, the problem here that uh, this foreign uh, body may make problems in breathing, may make cyanosis, may uh, cause problems in the bowel like vomiting, tummy pain, uh, may make obstructions. So you should be sure that you are ask, you ask the patient about, uh, you ask the mother about all of these problems to be sure that the condition of the baby is okay right now. Then move on to the most sensitive part of the station, informing the mother about the error. Just tell the mother uh, honestly uh, and tell her specifically what exactly done. Uh, we reviewed the x-ray and we found that there was a round bottom. Or we reviewed the x-ray and we found that there was a foreign uh, substance which was uh, missed uh, when you came previously in the hospital. Then apologize to the patient and um, sure after the mother will know about this, she will be angry. So try to handle her, try to apologize uh, to her, but don't waste a lot of time in, in just apologizing. You should start your task immediately by telling uh, the mother that you should bring your daughter back. Sure, the mother may refuse. She may tell you that um, I have some problems with other ch uh, uh, children. Uh, 
uh, I don't have time to bring my daughter back again to the hospital. So in this moment, you should um, take it seriously and just tell the mother, it's very important to bring your daughter back because uh, I'm afraid uh, that this error uh, may make some further complication happening. So it's very important to bring her back to take further actions and to be sure that she is okay and no complication happen. Then starting to the management of this case. In this case, you have two options and you can decide this according to the scenario. You may start by just explaining about uh, steps taken, the ethical steps taken in order to uh, prevent this problem from happening in the future. Uh, the incidents form, informing the seniors and informing her about the pulse service. If you feel that the mother is more keen about knowing this step first, you can start by this step first. But in most of the cases, and it also makes sense that um, you should inform the mother firstly what are the steps we are we will be taking in order to be sure that your baby is safe and there are uh, no complication can happen for his health. Uh, so the medical management will done by just we will repeat the x-ray, consultant will review it again and we will use a device called metal detector and this device is responsible for detecting if there is any metal in the object swallowed by the baby. The next step will be determined according to the position of the object. If the object passed to the stomach, then here we will just conserve, we will just monitor the baby, discharge home, and um, wait until this object will pass in the stool. And don't forget to tell the baby the safety netting here. The safety netting here is that if the baby uh, develop any tummy pain, any vomiting, any problem in the breathing, any anything, uh, just come back to the hospital. The other option is um, is if the object still far is still found in the food pipe. Uh, here uh, we will um, refer the baby to an ENT specialist. He will come and examine the baby, and he will insert the flexi tube camera. This camera will either pull the object or push it toward the stomach. So the decision will be according to the position of the object. It's very, very important to talk with the mother about the safety netting. Don't forget to mention it to her. If there is any vomiting, any tummy pain, any problem in passing the stool, you should bring your baby back to the hospital. Um, one additional point at the end, you can use it if you still have time in the station. You may give some advice to the patient, to the mother, about avoiding uh, this from happening again for the baby. Um, keep monitoring your baby, uh, keep a tiny object away for, from him so that this problem cannot happen again. The next sample of medical error is not labeled sample. In this scenario, uh, you are going to deal with the patient who will come to you. Uh, the problem here is that uh, the patient was diagnosed with glomerulonephritis, and he took a sample from his kidney in order to decide which type of glomerulonephritis he has. And then, unfortunately, the sample taken from the patient wasn't labeled and it was lost, and uh, so no test results will be available. And unfortunately. You should tell the patient all of this and convince him that he should make the procedure again, take another sample in order to decide next step in the management. So starting by following our approach, first of all, uh, just make a quick recap about what happened, why you take this sample, explore about uh, the incidents itself. It's very important to be sure that the patient know well about his condition. And ask the patient also if there is anyone who explained the diagnosis to him. If not, you should explain this to him. Ask about any symptoms of any complications or any symptoms of um, any problem happening to the patient. Fever, pain, or if there is any blood in the urine. 
take a quick maftosa from the patient, ask if there is any, uh, he's taking any medication, any allergy, any family history, and so on, according to the situation. Then start immediately by informing the patient about the error. Be honest with the patient. Tell him exactly, I am sorry that we missed the sample and we couldn't have the result of the test here with us today. Apologize to the patient. Remember, don't waste a lot of time in apologizing. You should move on to the next step uh, about convincing the patient to uh, take another sample and inform him about steps taken by the NHS system to avoid uh, this medical error from happening again. Incidence form, we will document this problem. We will put it inside uh, the file of the patient and inform the senior. Um, usually there will be a routine meeting. This meeting will happen for each department inside the hospital. Uh, and usually these types of errors is one of the things that are discussed inside this routine meeting. You can mention to the patient that we are making a routine meeting which happen every month or every week. You, you can just mention to him that we are we are having a routine meeting. In this meeting we are discussing uh, all of medical errors and all of these problems to, have, uh, to discuss what might be the reason for this and take further steps to uh, prevent this from happening again. Mention to the patient about the pulse service if he need to complain. Um, one common reply from the patient when you tell him that we need to take another biopsy, the patient will tell you it was really painful to take a sample from me and uh, am I going to reply all of, uh, to repeat all of this uh, procedure again? It's really painful. Just apologize to the patient again. Tell him I'm really sorry for what happened, but uh, it's it's really important to take this sample again because it's very important uh, to decide next step in the management and to confirm the diagnosis. And we can offer you some painkillers in order to uh, avoid any pain. Don't forget to manage the patient medically. This one common mistake in this type of the station. Many candidates uh, focus on how to manage this case ethically. Remember, this uh, type of stations has two steps in the management, ethical management and medical management. Ethical management is um, to tell the patient uh, about the steps taken in order to deal with medical errors inside the hospital. And also you should inform him about the medical management, how we are going to manage your condition. So, just tell the patient that uh, your, pro your problem is a self-limiting condition. It, it will um, usually resolve by its own within a few months, but we are going to give you some symptomatic treatments. Uh, we will give you painkiller. If you have fever, we will give you medication to control the fever. And we will make a routine blood test and some urine test to follow up your condition and to monitor the progress of your condition until um, confirming that you are uh, symptom free and your condition is treated. One valuable advice for these patients is um, just advise them to decrease salt intake and decrease uh, fluid intake. Don't forget about safety netting here. The safety netting in this case if, is the signs of pyelonephritis. Pyelonephritis is one of the complications of glomerulonephritis. If there's any high fever, any uh, chivers, or if there are any increased symptoms, intensity of the symptoms increased, please come back again to the hospital. So, very simple. Don't forget to cover all of these uh, steps while you're approaching a medical error test, a medical error uh, station. Explore about the condition, explain the error, apologize to the patient. Talk about ethical management, incident form, inform the senior, pulse service, and medical management. Don't forget about the safety netting.